Welcome back, everybody, to uh, X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go do some exploration and uncover some more sectors. Um, I am currently at my new Argon Prime solar power plant. Um, it is still currently being built, so as you can see, they're building a large <coughs> uh, storage over there. And then um, after that's done, then the actual solar panels will be built. If we uh, take a look at this, and so we we'll go to plan build, this is all it really is. It's pretty simple and straightforward. I figured I'd start with one solar panel and then, you know, see if the station can keep up with the demand here in Argon Prime. If you didn't see the last episode, I pointed out to you that the original solar power plant in the sector got blown up by a K. Um, so we're kind of taking advantage of that and making our own solar power plant. And then, you know, I might expand this later on into something more significant. Um, so, yeah, uh, we got that going on. And uh, there's not really a whole lot more to update you guys on at this point since I left you in the last episode. Um, so we are sitting at 67.3 million in terms of our money. I have not yet um, re re uh, replaced my my two nemesis that we nemesises that we lost uh, in that battle with the K, uh, but I'll probably do that at some point. Uh, but what I'm what I'm itching to do right now is just to get out and do some exploring and uncover some more uh, sectors. I have purposefully not looked up online or um, in any other method looked at you know the full uncovered map. Uh, so I really honestly don't know um, what else, what other sectors are out there. Um, and so what I figured we'd do is we'd start in what we would call the northwest, I suppose, corner of the of the maps here. And then, you know, see if we can go any further northwest and then start expanding, you know, uh, either west or north or, uh, well, ultimately both uh, before we start heading in the other direction. Um, so, with that being said, uh, what we'll do is, let's go ahead here, let me turn this filter off. Um, there's, uh, oh, there is a jump gate there. And you know what, the other thing too is that um, the jump gates that are inactive, based upon, you know, what I've explored so far, may now be active, but we wouldn't know that because we don't have any updated data there. So. Why don't we do this? Why don't we move to that one first and just check it out? And then if, you know, if, if there's nothing going on with that one, then what we'll do is we'll go to this jump gate, which apparently is active. Um, you know, when I when I did some of my very early exploring, I didn't want to go too far, mostly because I, I wanted to, to actually do this on camera and have some episodes, uh, you know, where we would do just do some exploring. And uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to do the uncovering of the sectors for the very first time here in X4 myself in future playthroughs I'll probably you know do that with the AI but uh, I want to experience it the first time myself because uh, this will be the only time I'll actually get to, to experience that after that I'll I'll know where all the sectors are um, okay so with that being said let's go ahead and pop on the highway here and just fly around and see what we can uncover. We are in our, our Peggy here, so as long as we don't, like, run directly into an enemy, um, we shouldn't have to worry about... Entering system. Um, take choice. Oh, I'm not even... I'm already not paying attention. <laughs> we need to go back this way. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah. I was asked to drop my cargo. Tell him to F off and keep going. Wait a second. Where are we going here? Oh yeah, we do need to go to Head Tech Choice to get up there. Okay, I was thinking we would get there through the Reach. And it's it might be worth re-exploring the Reach too, but we are actually in fact on the right path here, so let's keep going. We'll jump off over here. You know what we could do too? Let's just run over real quick and check and see how many of our laser towers are still up. I know the, the the xenon will eventually blow them all up, but oh, I can I can still see several of them, and it really, like I said, it really hasn't actually been that long since the last episode. Let's just look at the map here. 
Yeah, there's still some left, but not very many. <laughs> I know that was... Well, these there's actually quite a few of these left still. In fact, most of these are still left. So, you know, these might still, um, you know, help a little bit, but the Xenon have been busy taking these towers out. And so, yeah, I don't know. I, I know it wasn't really very effective to do that, but it was it was fun, you know, to kind of do our first work with, with the fleets and stuff. And, you know, we, we killed our, our, a fair amount of Xenon in the process, so can't can't be ashamed about that, right? But, you know, at some point, we probably will um, do something more substantial to, to lock that gate down. I mean, in the very long run, that could be going out and completely wiping the sector out. Um, but for now, what we, you know, what would be more practical in the near future is to, is to build a defense platform right outside that gate. I don't know if they would ever bring an eye through that gate, but, you know, obviously they bring case through, so whatever we made would have to be... Entering system. Morning star. Um, ...substantial enough to hold up to, you know, a K or maybe even two of them. All right. We are now in Morning Star here. Let's center on our ship here. It's possible that there could be new stuff up here, too. But my, my guess is that it's the inactive gates that we've, you know, found so far that are potentially active now. I really don't know yet, so... But we'll go to the furthest northwest sector first and just see what happens. Entering system. Heretics end. So that gate off to the left there um, is definitely an active gate that goes to a new system that we haven't been to yet. So we'll check that out. Last time I was here, was uh, I was chased by pirates a lot. So this isn't a super safe sector. Um, there's a data vault there too. I don't know if I've actually done it. Um, Hive guard. Ooh, that's a cock. Okay, yeah, we don't want to mess with him. Okay, so that's still an inactive gate. Interesting. Okay, so let's um head on over to that other one. Have I? I put a, I thought I put a, a beacon by that, um, data vault, because I don't, I'm pretty sure that I didn't do it, but, uh, let's get realigned here, because we're coming in really fast. Uh, it might have gotten blown up, because um, this is a pretty dangerous sector. Okay, so this will be new. Whoa. Cutscene. Hey, I think I know where we are. I'm pretty sure those star patterns match the ones from the pre-shutdown gate maps. This is the way to the old Federation. Okay. Um. Wasn't expecting that to happen. That almost looked like a split ship that came out of there. The way to the old Federation. That's interesting. All right, well, let's let's check it out. I don't know what happened to that other ship. Where I don't see it on the scanner. I definitely want to, you know, find the other races ASAP so I can start working on getting rep with them. Entering system. Wretched skies. Wretched skies. Okay, so this is orange, which means yeah, it's a it's a split sector. Uh, this sector is home to a number of lesser split families. They are unruly, and despite the patriarch of all splits tight grip on this empire, infighting is a common occurrence. It is only tolerated because the system is on the periphery of the split empire, and the short bursts of violence do not escalate into sustained conflicts that might rope in larger parts of the patriarchy. One family that often takes part in these skirmishes is the family Phi. They used to be regarded by other resident families as somewhat of an official, unofficial authority in the region, but with the parent continued to establish presence in the system, 
and Zyroth's interference and insistence on creating a stable order, the Patriarch Phi has lost much of its former standing. Very interesting. Okay. So, um, why don't we go ahead and Mamba. switch to this and do a little scan of Ruski here. So these guys are not completely hostile towards us. They won't attack us as long as we don't um, aggravate them. So it looks like there's just the three stations. Well, there could be more stations further up too. So let's go ahead and fly to these stations and just see what they are. A big gas plant with some rings there. Different colored stars off in the distance. That's kind of neat. It's a dark blue system. Yeah, I see more more stations even further out there. So I'll start working on getting rep with with the split and with the Terrans when the time comes. Okay, there's an accelerator. So that's going to go to a, another system. There, let's do it. Let's get that one mapped and then we'll do another um, scan. Unknown object. Okay. Now there was another station over this way too. Uh, I think that's it right over there. So let's zip on over there and see what's going on. Uh, but we have a medical supply factory and a hull part factory. And then an accelerator. Fighter Squadron Cobra. So these are Zyarth factories. I thought they said this was family fine. Oh, I guess it does belong to the Zyarth. Gotcha. Okay. I wonder what that storyline thing you meant, though, by the old Federation uh, territory. All right, what is that place? Split defense platform. It's a defense platform. Okay. Um, I don't remember this sector from previous games. That doesn't mean it wasn't in there. There were a lot of sectors in the. In the older games. I just don't remember one called Wretched Skies. So this is really all there is, huh? Um let's let's go a little further out and do a little bit more scanning before uh we go through that accelerator. See, there's a ship down there, which indicates there's probably... Yep, there is more stuff out here. Okay. Our scanner's just not able to reach it. That looks like another accelerator there and another another building. Or station, I should say. Let's see what this is. Some kind of platform. Let's do another scan here. Okay, 
right, let's take a look. Okay, so something popped up there. That's another station. And then we have the other accelerator. Oh, and that's a wharf. Okay, good to know. Okay, let's go up to here. And we'll check out and see what this station is. Quantum tube factory. Okay. All right. What I think I'm going to do, since that, uh, this is a warp, I think we're going to put a satellite down there. Let's do another scan while we're here. back over to, to the wharf and we'll lay a satellite down and then we'll move along to the next sector what I might do is I'm probably gonna buy a handful of Pegasus uh, Pegasuses and have them whoa what's that What's that thingy down there? Um, have them just, un, you know, explore these new sectors and fully uncover them. We might have to go investigate that thing. I don't know what that is. Excuse me. gonna let us dock yet until we get a little more rep here. So we'll just put the satellite right underneath their thing. There we go. Okay. Oops. Alright, what in the heck is this thing? can't select it. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is it something we shouldn't be flying towards? Oh, that looks like a... Yeah, that's a storage thingamadoodle for building. A building storage. Okay. So, I guess maybe somebody's... Starting to build a factory here? I would... I gather. Okay. I know, you know, that we're also picking up lockboxes and things like that on the scans, but... That's not what we're about right now. We are exploring and opening up new sectors. So we're not going to worry about that stuff. Okay, so let's see. We can either go west or we can go east-ish. Um, I think we go west. So we're going to go through this accelerator. Entering wretched skies 10. Ooh, it's blue in this system. That's a Paranid station. Paranid station security vessel. Paranid wharf. Another wharf. <coughs> okay, I think I'll drop a satellite here too. I've got uh, Docking granted. Whoops. I got satellites hotkeyed because 
drop level. Looks like there's a lot of ice in this system. All right, let's do a scan. Oops, held it down a little too long. So this belongs to God Realm. Okay, so more stations there. Okay, let's head over to that one. I really like the blue color of this system. Blue's my favorite color. There's some really long thing I'm doing way off. Docking aborted. Uh, to our port side there. Oh, that's probably that other station that we scanned. There's either a ship or something else even further beyond that. Oh, I wonder if all this blue stuff is a gas. We could uh, drop a resource probe. That's a weapon component factory, okay. Um. Unknown station. A turret component factory, okay. Let's turn around and head back this way. I say we drop a resource probe right in this um, thick of this gas and see if we got something here. Let's back up a little bit. Lots of ice, though. Okay. We'll go ahead and leave that there. So now we have um, something way out this way. Let's go check it out. Oh, I didn't read the thingy here. Um... Red Sky's tin was claimed by Paranoid forces only recently after the gates reconnected. Looking to secure their position against the Xenon sighted in, the, uh, in these parts of the universe, they began to fortify the sector and have contacted the God Realm in a bid for support. Paranoid split relations are tense and their forces clash occasionally, but due to the fact that these Paranoid troops are acting as a first line of defense against the Xenon, their presence is begrudgingly tolerated by the Patriarchs for the time being. Okay, I think we overshot our... There's another gate down there, though. I think we were heading towards this thing here. Anti-matter converter factory. Gotcha. Okay, let's flip back around. Head this way again. Actually, we need to do another scan because there's another station over here. Aeronet defense platform. There's another station that way. Let's go see what that is. At some point I'll probably spend some time just going after lockboxes because we still have to find that flux coil for our set of drive. But 
ready to do that right yet. Solar power plant, okay. Okay, let's head through this gate. Entering system. Litany of Fury. Litany of Fury. This is owned... Um, uh, no. Yeah. This is owned by the God Realm. Over time, the parented pilgrims that were forced to settle in the vicinity of the Litany of Fury as they reverentially titled the regular discharges of the system's sun uh, developed increasingly ambitious technology to shield themselves from the potential dangers of radiation. At first, they experimented with the austere, spatially efficient housing complexes in the crevasses of tethered asteroids. At some point, while deconstructing a freighter to attach its life support systems to one of these asteroids, the ordained priest engineers found that they could modify its shield generator output, significantly lessening the... Okay, we got an enemy. Uh, time to go fast. T. It's a recon fighter. Uh. Okay, here. All right, doesn't seem to be pursuing us. Okay, let's do this. Let's, um. Let's do a scan. Okay, and then um, over the following two... Wait a minute. Litany of Fury, that's what we've been reading, right? Uh, significantly lessening the protection from physical impact, but at the same time greatly expanding the shield coverage, a discovery which they believe would consecrate their settlements against the metaphysical threats present in the system. Over the following two decades, more and more station complexes spring up that use this adaptation of shield technology to facilitate the construction of a large specialized screen modules able to protect their habitation units. Even though the threat of radiation has since been disproven to a certain extent, there is no doubt that these sprawling heaps of metal served to distract the invading xenon during the jump gate realignment, buying the system's inhabitants enough time to escape. Okay, so you're telling me that this... Oh man, look at that red star. Um, well, no, this isn't a Xenon system because there's parented factories here. It's only got 50% sunlight. Interesting. Something you'd want to keep in mind if you were going to do solar power here. Okay, so we got some new factories up that way. And another gate, too. Aeronet defense platform. Jump gate, unknown sector. And what's this? Aeronet defense platform. Okay, so we got two defense platforms. Okay, let's take a look at the map. That's an actual jump gate. That's not a, an accelerator. Um, oh, right. Okay, so these accelerators will actually go up there. So we should go back that way. I'm also going to head south a little bit too just to do another scan down this way to see if there's anything else we possibly mix.
doesn't appear to be anything. Okay. So before we go through that gate, uh, let's go up to these uh, accelerators here. Super highways. Whoa. Why didn't that work? Did we go through it too fast? It's the first time I've seen that happen. There we go. Yeah, I must have just blown through that too quickly. Entering Litany of Fury 12. Okay, so, during the glorious con reconquest of Litany of Fury, it became, quickly became apparent that the Xenon incursion originated from far beyond the reaches of the ordinary paradigm warship. The commanding prior admiral ordered his staff to engineer a solution in, in a spur of lateral thinking uncommon for the paradigm. One of them declared a grand proposition that would ultimately bring the conflict to its decisive conclusion. The fleet's resources were immediately pooled to retrofit a construction vessel that was originally reserved for setting up the system's defense platform, and the monstrously armed result was sent off into the void in the direction of the presumed origin of the Xenon attacks. Upon arrival, the oversized construction vessel, in a display of artful paranoid ingenuity, blossomed into a superhighway gate, with their main advantage of distance removed from the equation and an endless stream of holy fervor pouring from the new sector entry point, the Xenon and their production facilities were quickly eliminated. M. Got a Xenon there. Alright, which direction are we going? Uh, no, 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 we need to go this way. We're getting beyond the border there. scan here. So there isn't really anything in this system, and it's only got 30% sunlight, so it would be kind of a crappy place to have a factory. Dark and gloomy. Nothing out here, man. Oh, look at that. We actually have a station. Parented defense platform. Okay. Alright, I guess that's really probably about all that's here. Let's do one more scan. Oh, there is a factory there. Okay. We're going so fast, eh? No, this is this is the one we went to. It's home. We will be scanning your inventory. Okay, let's go. Scan all you want. I don't have any. Surprisingly, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing surprising about it, man. What is that? There's two odd-looking red dots off in the distance there. It looks like it might be another builder uh, storage. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. Entering Litany of Fury 9. Okay, so let's um, head towards this gate here.
Entering system, Emperor's Pride. I remember Emperor's Pride from the old games. P. Cool, okay. Um, let's make sure we're far enough away from those ships. Uh, oh, that's a Xenon defense platform, I think. Looks like an Earth-like planet. Oh, shoot, this is a Xenon sector. Okay. So it used to be a parented sector, but not anymore. I'm sure those are parent or Xenon stations of some sort. Let's see if we can find another gate through here. An unknown station, so it would say object if it was a gate. We'll have to read this, but I don't want to. I don't want to read it while we're here because it's too risky. That's a new gate there. That looks like a ruined station or something. This is probably going to go to another Xenon sector. That sucks that uh, they took over Emperor's Pride, especially with that nice Earth-like planet there. Oh yeah, more Emperor, Xenon. Emperor's Pride 6. A Xenon Wharf. Crazy, man. Yeah, we'll read about these, but not while we're here. <laughs> Too dangerous. I just want to see if there's potentially any other gates or ways out of here. catching me. Those are both stations. Don't see anything else coming up though, so... I'm going to say this is probably a dead-end system here. Unknown station. There's a K. Fleet there. I suppose we could fly south a little bit and do one more scan, though I don't think it's going to matter. way a little more.
Okay. Yep, yeah, I think that's that's it for here. So let's head back to the gate and GTFO. Maybe someday we'll come up here and take this place over. Take it back from the Xenon. Because I like that planet. Maybe the Xenon went down to the planet and ruined it. It doesn't look ruined, though. Looks like it's still in pretty good shape. Entering Emperor's Pride 4. Okay, we already confirmed that those were stations, right? Yeah. Well, there's a paradigm defense platform that they built in here. Why are those Xenon factories not red? I want to do a quick scan down here to see if there's anything. Doesn't appear to be. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. So it looks like that might be as far northwest as we can go. Entering system, Litany of Fury. Okay, so... Looks like we went pretty far south there. So as far as I can tell, this is as far northwest as we can go on the map. It would appear to be the case anyways. So let's head back this way. stop for a minute and just read up on this sec sector real quick. Emperor's Pride 4. Once this system was known as a shining example of the split civilization's determination and wealth, it used to be the most remote frontier of Emperor Thurok's domain. Despite its considerable distance from the rest of the split systems, the split colonizing this space were able to build up a truly special and impressively wealthy community in which they shared their riches freely. They made Emperor's Pride Lush Green Planet their home. Perhaps it was the great distance to Thurok's empire that made them grow peaceful and complacent. Eventually, they made an effort to keep out of the other family's petty conflicts. Their drop guard and distance to the greater split realm would ultimately be their undoing when parented hardline religious fanatics invaded the system in pursuit of its abundant resources. They drove out or killed all of the split colonists, but... As is so often the case, these invaders too were not meant to last. Shortly before the gate shut down, they were unexpectedly besieged by Xenon forces, and when the god realm of the Paranid was finally able to reestablish a connection, the scouts found the system devoid of their brethren. Serves them right. Um, so it looks like, yeah, it looks like the story is the same for the whole the whole system. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I like, I thought this was a parented, I mean, parented, but I guess it was a split system, uh, at least originally, and I guess it was a parented system for a while, but I'm not sure if it was in X2 or X3. Okay, um, so I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to... Wretched Skies 5 and go through this accelerator. Because I don't think, I mean, we could have gone maybe a little further north or south in these sectors. And yeah, maybe I'll do that off camera. I'll just cut the camera and then I'll meet you guys back over here unless I find something. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, we are at 
this accelerator and uh, we'll see where it takes us. It'll be new territory. Entering Wretched Skies for Family Valka. Family Valka, so it's another split sector. Um, also Zyarth Patriarchy, okay. And I do see some stations over here. engine part factory. Wow, there's lots of stations here. Um, all of those are stations. And there's an object, so that's either a gate or an accelerator. Let's go... <coughs> let's go north. And see if there's anything up here. Um, well, here, let's actually uncover that first. Okay, so let's see. This mysterious, or the mysterious jump gates were supposedly created by a race which most species refer to as the ancients. These devices are apparently spread throughout the entire galaxy and... Wait, what? No. Wrong thing. Uh, family Valka used to be nomadic pirates with considerable presence throughout the split race. Not at home in any single system, they instead preferred to make a living raiding traders and other split families. When the gates shut down, they were scattered and became more of a nuisance than an actual threat to the stability of the patriarchy. However, as the split system started to reconnect and the situation concerning the free families began to deteriorate... Patriarch Zareth was worried about how much more dangerous the Free Families could be if they ever joined forces with Family Valka. To get, of, get ahead of this potential problem, Patriarch Zareth offered the Valka pirates control over Wretched Skies in terms uh, a control over Wretched Skies. In terms of standing, this was a considerable step up for the Patriarch Valka. He quickly assumed the role of jailer, maintaining and guarding the system's prison colonies. Interesting. Okay, prison colonies, huh? All right, let's go check this out. Um, that is a jump gate too, so that's gonna go to a whole new sector. Um, but let's go check this out first and also do another southern scan here, though I don't think we really need to. I know that um, the direction that you scan in doesn't matter for stations, but the distance still does. So apparently the scan will pick up all stations in a 360 degree radius, but it'll only go out to, you know, so far. So you still have to travel in a a particular direction to get further scans if it's, if it's a big sector. See, like there's something else over there that we didn't pick up the first time. That might just be a ship, though. Yeah, it's probably a ship. I wish we had the triplex scanner like we had in the older games. It would make your passive, you know, radar distance uh, you know, go further. Yeah, there's definitely Scanning a, array factory. a station there that the scan missed. And what is this here? Scruffin Farm. A Scruffin Farm, okay. Interesting. Get off my radar. Okay. Let's go check out... Um, these stations up here and then we'll go do a scan in the north before we come over to this gate 
smart chip factory. Okay. Alright. Smart chip factory. Let's head up here. We'll do a scan and then we'll we'll turn back around. Part factory. Okay. Unknown station. Missile component factory and another hall part factory. Okay, I think that pretty much probably uncovers everything in this system. Uh, so let's head to this jump gate. I am going to do one more scan off in this direction though, off to the east. Okay. Doesn't look like it picked up anything. Here we go, a new gate. Entering system, family Zin. All right, this is like a big split system here. There's a lot of stuff here. This I wonder if this is like one of their main systems. Still Zyarth Patriarchy. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll bet you there's a gate that goes down through here. Because remember, if you guys remember, I was saying that there were Zyarth ships coming through. In fact, there's one right there coming through the Xenon gate here. So that makes sense. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think what we're going to do here is wrap up this episode because it was um, unedited. We've gone over an hour. Um, these these exploration episodes uh, they're just gonna they're gonna take a while. There's just it's just the nature of the beast. Uh, so you know I'll try and edit out the the more boring parts, but it's my intent to uncover as much of the map as we can over the next few episodes and if I get a chance I might even you know maybe live stream some of it uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying the exploration and you know the reading of the the lore here <clears throat> and um, yeah so with that being said we will pick up pretty much right where we left off in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye bye